Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the ABN lookup service provided by the Australian Business Register to check if an ABN is valid through Power Automate. ABNs are used as an identifier for Australian businesses. In order to use this service, you first need to register for access to the ABN lookup web services and within a couple of days of registering you'll be provided with an access token. The process for registering for the web service can be found on the web services page on the ABN Lookup site. I will include a link in the description below. Once you have the token, you can start to use this service. They have a couple of different services available, however in this example I'm going to use the JSON services to look up an ABN to see if it is valid or active. They have an example page where you can test out the JSON services. Here we will need to enter the access token provided when registering. Then entering an ABN or using the example they have provided, we can click on the ABN lookup button. And if the ABN is valid, the details available will be returned, otherwise a message will be received notifying us that it is invalid. This page also provides us with the URLs for the different types of lookups that can be performed. We are now ready to jump over to Power Automate and start creating our flow. To start off, go to the create section. In this example, I'm going to use an instant flow with a button. However, depending on your needs, you could use any type of flow. I'm just giving the flow a name that'll make it easier to find later on. Then in the trigger, let's add a text input and call it ABN. This will allow us to prompt for the ABN when running the flow. I'm going to set up a couple of variables that, just to make it easier. The first variable will be for the GUID or access token and then the other one for the URL without the parameters. To make it easier in testing and debugging, I will use a compose action to create the full request URL with parameters and as best practice, try to give your actions meaningful names as you go. When composing the request URL, I will add the URL variable and each of the required parameters. In this example, the required parameters are the ABN and the GUID. We can get away without using the callback parameter. The next step is to add a HTTP action. I will then select get as the as the method and use the results from the composed request URL action in the URI field. Before testing, I will also add a compose action and insert the body of the HTTP action. This will allow us to e easily see the results of the HTTP request. We are now ready to test the flow. By saving the flow, then clicking on test and selecting I'll perform the trigger action and click test. We will then be prompted to enter the ABN we want to check. Enter the ABN and click run flow. Once the flow runs, we should then be able to see the results in the last compose action. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the results are wrapped in a callback and brackets, so we will need to remove th them from the results before passing the JSON.
This can be done with a couple of expressions in a compose action. I will include the expression in the description below. We can now save and test the flow again. And now we should have some results that resemble the JSON. Copy the results from the last compose action and edit the flow once again. I missed renaming the compose action, so I'll do that now. This will make it easier to find in the next action. We can now add a pass JSON action to convert the results to a usable format. I find the easiest way to create the schema is to click on the generate from sample button and paste the results from the previous compose action, then clicking on done. This will create a schema for you. To make sure that everything is working, we can save and test the flow again. Once the flow is run, we should be able to see the results in the output from the, the past JSON action. So far, everything is working okay because we provided a valid ABN. However, what happens if we provide an ABN that isn't valid? In this case, we can see that the flow is failing on the past JSON action. And this is because the results returned are different and includes null values. Looking at the error, we can see that the ABN date and the GST fields are expecting strings but received null values. To fix this, we need to make a slight change to our schema in the past JSON action to handle null values and string values. To do this, go back to edit the flow and go to the past JSON action. In the schema, we need to change the type from just accepting string to accepting both string and null. This can be done by changing the single type to an array of types for each of the properties that would have either result. Once this is done, we can save and retest the flow for both scenarios. Now, depending on what you want to do once you have the results, you could create a condition to see if the ABN status is active and perform actions such as notifying the user or sending an email.